Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this lesson, we are going to create a new Hugo website. And then once we create that website, we're gonna take a look at some of the default folder structures that Hugo creates for us, okay? It's gonna be really fun, I'm excited. First thing that we wanna do is head over to our command line. Now, just to talk about my setup here, I have over here um, basically just a text editor open and I have it open to um, this Hugo folder. And this is a folder that I basically created where I can store all my Hugo projects, okay? You can put a Hugo project in, in any folder you want, it doesn't really matter. I just have this folder that I made especially for it. So our first order of business is to create a new Hugo site, all right? So I'm gonna open up a terminal. In my case, I have a, a terminal open here in my text editor. And you wanna make sure that the terminal window is open to the same directory that the folder that you want to create the project is in okay so in my case this is um open to the same directory as this folder okay so in order to create a new hugo website we need to use this hugo command so the way that you do anything in hugo is using the hugo command and you, it's just typed out just like that okay so we're going to have that hugo and then we want to type new and we want to type site. And this is going to tell Hugo, okay, we want to make a new Hugo website, okay? Unlike a traditional website, when you make a Hugo website, there's a lot of like default folders and like files that have to go into it. And so really what you don't want to do is just like manually create the site. You want to let Hugo do it for you. And that's why we're using this Hugo new site command, okay? There's one final thing we need to type in here, which is the name of the site that we want to create. In my case, I'm just making sort of a test site. So I'm just going to call it first underscore site. Okay. Once you have that typed out, then just click enter and you're going to see a bunch of stuff's going to pop up here. Uh, as long as you see this congratulations message, then uh, you're pretty much good to go. If you get an error, it's probably because he goes like not installed or it's not in your path variable. So let's take a look up here and see what actually got created, okay? So like I said before, we have this Hugo folder and then we have this new folder that just got created, which is called first site. And it's called first site because that's what I passed into the command line, okay? So there's a bunch of different folders that get created by default. And I'm just gonna kind of talk through briefly each one. Um, you're not gonna fully understand what each folder does, uh, you know, at this point, just because you don't necessarily know everything about Hugo yet. But I'll just give you a quick overview of kind of what they do. So the first folder is called the archetypes folder. And this is probably a folder you're not gonna be using too much um, unless you're kind of getting more advanced with Hugo. Basically an archetype is um, a piece of content that's common to all of the content on your website. And so Hugo is a static site generator and it allows you to define data about your content. So if I had a particular web page, like let's say I was making a blog and I had a, a page, right? Imagine I wanted to uh, assign that page an author, right? I could say like, okay, this person wrote this blog post or I wanted to specify which language it was written in, right? I could give it a language. Um, Hugo lets you define data about your content, okay? So it's like metadata, right? Data about data. And you can define some of that data about your content inside of an archetype, okay? And all of the archetypes go in this archetypes folder. Next folder is the content folder. This one's kind of obvious. It's basically where you're gonna store all the content for your website, right? So any, like if you're, have, if you're writing a blog, like you'll put all your blog posts in here. If you have like a different kind of website, you know, any web pages that you create are gonna go inside this content folder. So the content of your website goes in here, kind of makes sense. Next is the data folder. The data folder acts as kind of a database for your website. So we have a static website that we're building, obviously. So you're, you know, you're probably not going to be using some like database, um, just kind of by nature of a static website, but you can actually, uh, have data files. And so for example, like you could have a JSON file that has a bunch of information in it, and then you could pull that information from the JSON file and put it into your website, just like you would a normal database. And this data folder is where you would put any data that you'd want to use on your website. Um, Next, we have the layouts folder. Uh, Hugo is a super powerful static website generator. And so you can define really complex uh, layouts for your website. Uh, a good example would be, you know, imagine that you wanted to have a header and a footer on every page of your website and you wanted them 
to be the same across the entire site, right? So I wanted to have the same header on all of my pages on my website, and I wanted to have the same footer on all the pages on my website. Well, that would be a good example of a layout, right? So I could, you know, basically write like a head .h, header.html file or a footer.html file. I could throw those files inside this layouts folder and then, you know, basically add them to every single page of my website, right? So you know, we're gonna get into layouts a lot and there's a lot that you can do there, but that's kind of just a basic overview of it. Next is the static folder. This is a really important folder because this is where you're gonna store all of the static elements of your website. So a static ele element of the website would be something that doesn't change, right? So it could be like an image or maybe a CSS file, it could be a JavaScript file. Basically, you know, something that is just like not gonna be changing uh, page to page, right? Um, so that's, you know, a lot of stuff is going to go in this static folder. Finally, we have the themes folder. Uh, Hugo is, you know, really user friendly. And, and one of the ways that it's user friendly is it allows you to use a pre-built theme, right? So if you're somebody that doesn't want to create your own layouts, create your own templates, right? Or really just create the actual site as far as like the HTML, like the look and feel is concerned, you can just download a pre-built template and import it into your, uh, you can pop it into this themes folder down here and you can just use it. So like you could download, you know, one of like dozens of themes that are available and then you put it into this themes folder and then boom, you got an awesome website. It looks great and it'll just kind of like accommodate all of your content. So that's what that does. Finally down here, we have the config.toml file. And this is basically like the main settings page for your, for your website. So, um, like if you have like a, an iPhone or something, right? You have the settings app, right? So you can go in, you can like modify, you know, different settings for the phone. That's basically what this does. This is like the settings app for the Hugo website. So if you come in here and I'll just kind of show you basically what this looks like, but there's all these different, um, you know, values. So for example, like title, you can define the title of your website. You can define like what language the website's written in, right? Um, or like the base URL. And there's a bunch of you know additional options that we can add on to there. And we're gonna get into that throughout this course. But just know for now that the config.toml file is basically like, you know, the overall settings of your app. So obviously there's a lot of you know folders. Um, as you work more with Hugo, you're gonna start to get more comfortable with these folders. Um, you know, don't get intimidated because there's so many right off the bat. Really, you know, if you can really only just work with the content folder and the themes folder and have an entire website. Or if you want, you can, you know, have a bunch of complex layouts, a bunch of static resources on your site and make it really cool. Okay, so that's a basic overview of all the folders. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.